All right, but no joke though, Retro Pack is like probably actually the best nostalgia set that they've done. So uh, you guys might want to get these now. Let's go. All right, I want to do a video because uh, I like sets like these actually. But uh, you know, but you know, four boxes. Let's open them real quick and uh, I'll be right back. All right, 16 packs, almost, well, not really almost, more like, guys, just half, like, a booster box worth, but let's see, up to pull rates, so we should, we should see some ultra rares, but I guess nothing's guaranteed, though, but very likely to see some, oh, ooh, a secret rare, relieve monster, right off the bat, we got a nice secret, so I heard the secrets are actually still pretty hard to get, so I, I, we'll take any, but I think the best one is the cyber, eight, heart, wait, Harpy Lady, Cyber Harpy Lady? My bad, I was bugging right there. Um, I think it's the Cyber Harpy Lady, lady which is the hardest one to get. Um, or not the hardest one, but like the most valuable one. So hopefully we see that. And for the Ultra Rares, it's of course Blue Eyes. But uh, there's a couple of good Ultra Rares. A lot of the Ultra Rares are pretty nice. And then Super Rares, Solid Judgment, pretty solid. Um, especially for people who want to build their GOAT deck, they can have... An old school version of it right here now, like fresh near mint, which is actually kind of nice. Having a set like this makes it so when you're building your old decks, you could have near mint cards as opposed to super crusty. Uh, and it actually looks like the same as uh, the old print. So I really, really like this set. I mean, look at all this. Upstart Goblins, Mother Grizzlies, and a... Ooh, Dark Magician again. Oh, uh, a little off-centered, unfortunately, but... It looks just like the uh, LOB version, if you ask me. I would not be able to tell the difference if you uh, took out the uh, the code on it. All right, we're starting off really strong. That, that was really good. I'm not going to lie. I think I didn't sort them out. So I think technically this was all one box so far. Out of one mini box, I got a secret and uh, the Dark Magician. So um, we're looking pretty good on this box. But let's see. We can finish strong. Okay, Fissure. A pretty decent card. Pretty decent. And Thunder Dragon. Thunder Dragons, and, uh, okay, mostly just Thunder Dragon there, but Thunder Dragon's pretty good, because you, uh, actually played quite a bit in Chaos decks back then, especially when you need those lights in the graveyard, and, uh, just good for discard fodder, I guess, but, Molten Destruction, and a Sui Gen. okay, okay, I saw the 2500, I was like, oh, another, uh, Dark Magician, but, not quite, there's a couple of monsters with 2500, I think, right, Summon Skulls in here, too, yeah, but we're looking for 3k. We're going to see 3k in the attack that we know we hit it big. Let's go. Mother Grizzly. We're almost with our playset. Either that or uh, we already did get it. And a B Skull Dragon. Okay. Nice. Thunder Dragon 2 along with it. We are coming along nicely with that playset. Guys, this set is so good. I'm just saying. The value on these cards is actually not bad. But then again, it's still kind of early because a lot of people probably bought their stuff online. So we'll have to see and wait. Nice time wizard. We'll have to see and wait until everyone gets their stuff. And then we'll actually start to see where prices are going to settle. Because, like I said, stuff got shipped out. I think around probably Tuesday coming up, we'll actually be able to see what the prices are going to be at. and Because everyone's going to have their stuff by then. But Mystic Tomato and a Relinquished. Okay, another ultra rare. Ultra rare galore. I think we are about... Even, yeah, we're like even with ultra rares and uh, super rares, which is kind of interesting, but okay, relinquish. Not one of the better ones, uh, unfortunately, it's actually one of the not as valuable ultra rares to get, but hey, we take an ultra rare any way it comes. Sky of Power and a Summon Skull. Speaking of 2500 attack, there he is. We haven't seen any, um, what is it, uh, like misprints at all because I've been hearing that. Some people like no name misprints, um, and I guess well mostly just that actually. I don't think there's been anything else, but a no name misprint actually makes stuff usually more uh, valuable. So maybe if we pull misprint, it's actually what we want now. And a Raigeki, okay, nice. I've pulled quite a bit of Raigekis now. <laughs> I think that's like that might be my third one now that that I have like actually. So hey, it is at three now, so I could technically play it in my modern deck. Go Sonic Bird and a Sangan. Sangan is actually probably the best super rare. I'm pretty sure because every single goat deck plays Sangan. <laughs> like straight up. And uh, this is actually really nice. The super rare Sangan is not the highest rarity. Um, it has a secret, but the secret I think is in like 
that 2011 era or whatever where like they kind of changed the uh the card stock and uh kind of like design of everything i think the the next highest was like super rare so i think this might be like on par with that and then card destruction okay pretty nice card i think um not that many cards or decks run card destruction in goat i think it's just like the chaos with thunder dragons or something like that or, like sinister serpent but let's keep it going come on another secret rare would be kind of nice monster rebo wait that's a super i thought this would be an ultra rare but that's pretty nice that's my first monster reborn so uh we take them we definitely take those all right coming down to the last two packs let's finish strong come on blue eyes i don't have a blue eyes yet but that's that's the goal of everyone right you know i want my master set let's go mystic tomatoes i pulled plenty of mystic tomatoes that's for sure Hyo and ryu a effect monster so not blue eyes um could be like gate guardian or something Oh, Barrel Dragon. Okay. Barrel Dragon Rare. Not bad. I don't know. It came out like a secret rare before, right? Oh, I lied. There's another pack. My bad. We're on. Now we're on the second to last pack. My bad, guys. A little, little bit of extra stuff there. Surprise, right? Let's go. Oh, I pulled too many. Uh, painful choice. This is a painful choice indeed. All right. Let's see if we can end it with the ultimate dragon. The Invincible Dragon. None have lived to tell the tale. I've... I like notice that there's like a weird dot on some of these cards. I don't know. Some of them just randomly have it. So that I don't know. It looks pretty bad. Not really like a great misprint to have, but last hollow. Let's see what we can end on. A oh wait, 1800? I mean that's like legend or something. Yeah, legend. Okay, okay. We got legend. We have a secret rare, we got dark magician, some sand games, pretty decent super, so hey, not bad, not bad. Hey, so let me know what you guys think about this set. I mean you can't beat that, man. Something about the old hollow pattern, especially on the super rares. I think Sangan, it's like subtle, but it just looks good. I don't know. Something about it. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking and it's just like engraved into my brain how the old cars look or something. But this just looks really nice. Just stuff like that. And same with like uh, bouncing stuff everywhere, uh, like Monster Reborn. That just looks really good. Really simple. We like simplicity sometimes, you know, sometimes. But let me know what you guys think down below and uh, maybe I'll see you guys later, right? Peace out.